شما My name is Laura Casas Fryer. I'm a trustee to the Foothill De Anza Community College District, and I will be your moderator uh, today. We're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the International Women's Day all over the world. Events such as today are happening all over the world and all over the country. And thanks to uh, Payban and also the International Federated Women's Club uh, of Iran here in Cupertino, we're sponsoring this event today. And we have a wonderful cast uh, today of uh, women from all over the world. We have, throughout the day, we'll have women from London that worked in France, Australia, and uh, Iran, of course, China. So we'll, we'll be uh, sharing with you, and of course, I'm, I'm from Mexico, and uh, a lot of immigrant women, a lot of women who are from this community, and, and part of the fabric of America, and this is what it's all about, this is a life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. So, uh, and, and of course, the uh, Iranian, -ish, uh, Iranian Federated Women's Club is part of that example, and the inspiration to all of us in this community. Uh, we'll start out with uh, uh, each panelist coming up to the podium, and uh, I'll say just a couple of words of each panelist, but they will have about six to seven minutes to talk about themselves and also uh, what is their, uh, what is in their point of view is art, uh, expression through art. And so they will give you just a little, you know, uh, each one of these women is very accomplished in their own right. And of course, after they, they speak for six or seven minutes, you will have an opportunity to ask these questions. And this is a great opportunity for you to get feedback on their accomplishments and how they got to where they were and, 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 their, and their view on art whether it's political or uh, the artistic side of art or the scientific side of art. So um, we, will start, we will start with uh, our first panelist. I just, I hope I don't mess up with the pronunciation. Fadi Day? Okay, I've got it. Very good. Um, she's actually a, a long practitioner in the health community nursing practitioner, midwife, and degrees from Iran. Um, her mission has always been to give high quality professional care delivered with compassion and willingness to share her experience with students and the wellness of her colleagues. Please, please uh, let me introduce you. Please come up and share part of your life. My name is Farideh Louis. I am a midwife and nurse practitioner. I studied midwifery in Iran in the University of Medicine Medical School in Iran. And, and here, uh, through the support of Planned Parenthood, I was working over there. I went to the University of Wisconsin to study nurse practitioner. And I was working for Planned Parenthood and Kaiser. Uh, my speech today is about women's health around the world. Uh, health is a precious gift. Surveys all over the world value good health and happy family life are more important than anything else. At this time, we celebrate the accomplishment of women around the world. While have been many great advancements. During last century, women improved. improved and develop, in developed countries. Women have greater access to health care. They can expect to live longer than their grandmother, have a healthier family, and fewer children. But we cannot lose sight of the struggle of millions of women with lack access to basic health care globally. Hundreds of thousands of women die every year as a result of, of giving birth, as well as various preventable diseases such as malaria, uh, breast cancer, cervical cancer, HIV and AIDS. Women still are caught in high fertility, high mortality and poverty trap. They have little knowledge of reproductive health, sexual transmitted disease, breast cancer awareness and mammogram for the screening for breast cancer. In addition, rarely discussed or is not available for them. 
Through my experience practicing in Iran and United States, I was witness of discrimination and burden of making the right decision to woman's life. It was challenging for me as a healthcare provider to help them for their health. To women around the world, no word is sweeter than that President Obama's strong, clear support of women's health. The lift struggle hold in women's health. The overturning of global gag rules means women with access to birth control and family planning. Since uh, healthcare entities have provided a full range of reproductive health and family planning, we once again to eligible for international family fund. Means when the previous administration and they stop this funding around the world for this kind of family planning for women. I personally think repealing the global gap is a critical step. What more work must be done to reverse the damage done to the women's health? President Obama, by appointing Mrs. Hillary Clinton as a Secretary of the State, it creates unique opportunity to restore women's health well-being to center of foreign policy agenda. They understood that promoting women's rights not only improves health and well-being, but also has concrete benefit for economic and social development. Now we are in the right direction. Women's health must be priority. The United States government approach to women's health worldwide will change the new, with new administration. Women's well-being are bedrock of freedom and independence of for individuals. I'm going to share everything about you. Uh, What's your favorite instrument? Uh, what well, day? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, my passion is two things. One of is, uh, first is gardening. I, I like gardening very much. And most of, most of my free time is spent in the garden, playing with flowers and trees. And another passion is the uh, Iranian classical music. And I wanted, and I'm a vocalist. Tonight I'm having performance. And uh, I wanted to tell you, my passion is to, through my chest, through my voice, and uh, sing this Iranian Persian song for new year generation because when I've gone after I wanted somebody to step by follow and learn about Iranian music and our children to learn about this kind of music. This is my true. Uh, also I play Santu as a music through Santur's I learn more about Iranian traditional music.